Today, as we gather to reflect on the events of the day now known as 9-11, we take this time to especially remember. We remember the first responders. We remember the people on the planes, those in the towers, in Shanksville, in the Pentagon. We remember those left behind. September 11, 2001 was a beautiful Tuesday, an ordinary day. After dropping my children off at school, I was standing in the kitchen when my mother called and said, turn on the television. I'm sure you too remember where you were on that morning. Fast forward 17 years. Fred and I were in New York this weekend to see Come From Away. The musical tells the true story of a small town in Newfoundland, Canada. Its name is Gander, whose townspeople welcomed 38 planes, 7,000 passengers, when the U.S. airspace was closed to incoming traffic. Come From Away is a reminder of the capacity for human kindness, that even in the darkest hours, humanity can and must triumph over hate. This park and the 11 benches surrounding us are reminders as well. 11 Montgomery County residents were killed on that infamous day, yet when we come to this park, we feel their presence. We remember their smiles, their goodness, their dreams. Take a few minutes and read the inscriptions carved into the benches, each one different, personal, each one a reflection of the individual who lived amongst us. Now, 17 years later, this day is also a reminder of the strength of our nation and about unity. After 9-11, I had a sticker on the back of my car window, United We Stand, Divided We Fall. It was a reflection of my hope for our country's future. Today, September 11th, gives us the opportunity to pause and remember. Today offers a, a reminder of how dark days unified a nation that was not bowed by hatred then and gives us hope that this great nation will not be bowed by division now. We must remember and celebrate the contributions, the service, the sacrifices made by those who lost their lives in 9-11 and work together to see that their dreams are fulfilled. Seven years ago, many of the passengers from those 38 planes returned to Gander for the 10th anniversary. Speaking on behalf of his community, Mayor Claude said this, Tonight we honor what was lost, but we also commemorate what we found. Thank you.